Hey everyone and welcome to Drone News Now. Welcome to Drone UHQ, the home of NDAA approved flight training. As always, my name is Paul. We have a busy week of news for you. A lot of news going on. In fact, as many of you know, the tariff wars are heating up as China has added 11 companies to their unreliable entity list. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce has designated 11 U.S. drone-related companies as unreliable entities, escalating trade tensions. This move kind of reflects China's aggressive strategy to maintain global drone dominance as they're inhibiting these companies from gathering parts that are necessary to build their drones. They're coming after Rapid Flight, Skydio, Brink, Red Six Solutions, SkyNexus, Firestorm Labs, Kratos Unmanned Aerial Systems, Havoc AI, and Neros Technology. Just goes to show that the Chinese will do anything to prove and to have DJI remain the dominant drone manufacturer. I guess that does kind of showcase that the whole Sentinel program that the security researchers found ended up being accurate as to the attitude of DJI. Unfortunate. In our next piece of news, India has deployed Star Wars-like technology. It's a laser that actually shoots Chinese drones out of the sky, and now they have a new bold defensive measure as they've unveiled this high-powered laser system capable of neutralizing aerial threats, particularly amongst Chinese UAV incursions. Very interesting and very similar to a system that's developed here in the United States by General Atomics. It seems like laser beams are becoming, well, more popular. Interestingly enough, the NDAA approved or NDAA compliant drones will be easier to figure out which drones are actually NDAA compliant as the Defense Innovation Unit has launched a blue list manufacturing marketplace. This is to provide a pre-vetted marketplace for trusted American manufacturers aiming to rapidly scale up their defense grade drone production. This move could reshape and make it more easy and convenient for the supply chain for military and public safety drones across the United States. Really interesting here as this should make it much easier to discern which drones are actually NDAA compliant and more importantly, what parts are NDAA compliant. I'm looking at you, LiDAR sensor cores. The Mavic 4 Pro is indeed delayed as we've now had confirmation. In fact, you can check out these cool photos. Interestingly enough though, we are seeing, someone had posted a review too early and forgot to delist their video, showcasing that the price range is about $2,500 to $4,000 depending on which version of the Mavic 4 Pro that you get, offering two separate remotes, a similar remote as the Mini 4 Pro or their new remote, which actually looks pretty cool, having a Crystal Sky screen elevated off the top of the remote. Interestingly enough though, this drone will now cost 125% more money. Why? Well, Trump's tariffs are in effect, so it'll be much more difficult to get this drone. This might actually have a positive impact for drone pilots, and I think it's important that we always look at both sides of an issue to better understand the core as a whole. For example, with the rising cost of new drones, what does it mean? Well, your used drones might actually have more intrinsic value because the used market is now heating up as new drone prices are skyrocketing. So if you are looking to sell your drones, you might want to wait a little bit longer or start the process of selling them because you're going to be able to get more money for those drones. I joked on Twitter, uh, excuse me, X, formerly Twitter, saying that we are only one tariff away from DJI drones being more expensive than Skydio. But actually, I should correct that statement because now with the, ta with the tariffs being raised, well, an M30T is much more expensive than a Skydio X10, which is, are both triple camera setups. They both have significant obstacle avoidance. In fact, the actual mapping camera on the Skydio drone is better than the M30T. Never, never did I ever think that Skydio drones would be cheaper than DJI, but here we are. Something that I think is really important to understand um, regarding the tariffs, regarding the DJI ban, is I've now had three close friends in the drone industry, all of them CEOs of drone companies that have recently met with President Trump. And on President Trump's desk is an executive order with a DJI ban. Now, typically when I hear this once or twice, it's kind of like no big deal, but when we hit the rule of threes and I'm hearing about it from three separate sources, 
it tends to raise alarm. So Mr. Trump, I hope that we can find more intelligent methodologies for dealing with DJI drones. I know that there are previous security issues, but let's solve those issues rather than banning a $116 billion industry. What do you say? That being said, um, the FAA is resuming the counter UAS testing, this time in New Jersey. The FAA is conducting deconfliction testing or counter UAS testing this week in New Jersey. Let's just hope that it doesn't set off the TCAS sensors in commercial airliners like it did at Reagan National Airport two weeks ago. It's not going to be fun for passengers of commercial airliners if they're getting alerts in the cockpit that say, warning, collision, warning, collision. That's never a good thing when you're flying the uh, friendly skies. That being said, eyes are on the results of the agency as they balance innovation with aviation safety. It should be really interesting. We've got a new drone hitting the market, actually an evolution of a drone many of us have seen before. Originally called the EB, then the EBX, it is now the EB Vision. An NDAA approved for drone from Ag Eagle sports a 90 minute flight time. Ag Eagle has introduced the EB Vision, a next generation ISR drone with a 90 minute flight time, a 32 times zoom camera, and it's an NDAA approved platform. A major evolution in long endurance, tactical mapping, and surveillance drones. So it should be great for public safety. But that is gonna do it for us here at Drone U HQ. Thank you for checking out some of our newest videos, the Matrice 4 Enterprise Review, the fastest drone map, and using Pix4D React for producing the fastest geo-reference maps and models on the planet. Also, congratulations to five of our new instructors for being certified on Pix4D React, Pix4D Mapper, Pix4D Matic, Pix4D Cloud, Pix4D Fields, and Pix4D Survey. So if you are looking for the best drone mapping classes and you wanna know what deliverables are right for what software, then you gotta join us for a drone mapping class here in colorful Colorado, where I promise we don't just take flight, but we have a lot of fun doing it. That's gonna do it for us today here at Drone U HQ. I'll see you next time.